Hello, welcome to section four. This section is for solutions architects and junior developers who like to know about some of the trade-offs you have when you use Azure Functions. We'll talk about some of the concerns you might have with an Azure Functions architecture and show you some best practices that will help your apps work well. In this section, we're gonna take a look at choosing between Flow, Logic Apps, Azure Functions, and Web Jobs, choosing a hosting plan, best practices for Azure Functions, and security concerns. This brings us to our first video, Flow, Logic Apps, and Web Jobs versus Azure Functions. Maybe Azure Functions aren't the ideal approach for your solution. You may be better served using Microsoft Flow, Logic Apps, or Azure Web Jobs. How do you decide? In this video, we're gonna take a look at Microsoft Flow and its strengths, Logic Apps and its strengths, Web Jobs and its strengths, and then we'll compare all three plus Azure Functions. Microsoft Flow essentially gets web services talking to each other. It's like IFTTT or Zapier, if you're familiar with those services. It's easy to set up sophisticated logic. And so you can make your Dropbox trigger something where you can then respond to it, send an email. There are already recipes that it has for Azure services like Azure Blob Storage or Azure Data Lake, Azure Queues. So it might be just what you need for your solution. Microsoft Flow has several strengths. First allows for a self-service experience for your business users. They can create, they can manage, they can go in and update their own sort of workflows. And it gives you a lot of power just out of the box. It has an in-browser editor that's quite easy to use and allows you to easily connect Azure services to other SaaS services like Dropbox, GitHub, and Jira among many others. That brings us to Logic Apps. It's like Microsoft Flow, but for Azure developers. It's more in tune for mission critical apps and it has better security and auditing because it's built into your Azure portal. It does allow for more frequent checks than Microsoft Flow does and it integrates with Azure services. One plus is it can integrate with other SaaS services just like Flow does and also call an Azure function. So there's a lot of power involved here. Logic Apps has its own set of strengths. First, it uses the same easy to use editor that Microsoft Flow uses. It follows the Azure security model, so set up that role-based access control to have a little more say into what happens in your Logic Apps. You can use source control to maintain your code base, so infrastructure as a service is possible with Logic Apps. And you can also call Azure functions from Logic Apps. So this gives you a lot of uh, power in the sense of tying some sort of SaaS app to an Azure function where Azure functions might not support that sort of integration. And that brings us to Azure Web Jobs. Azure Web Jobs allow you to run scripts or background processes in the context of an app service web app. Azure functions are actually built on top of Web Jobs, so that's where we get all our power from. And because of the Web Job power of supporting C Sharp, F Sharp, Node, that's where Azure Functions gets that. But you'll notice in Azure Web Jobs that Python, Bash, Java, and PHP are actually much better supported under Azure Web Jobs than they are with uh, Azure Functions. So Web Job strings allow you to write and deploy your code with Visual Studio. So you get IntelliSense and all those other nice things that Visual Studio provides. You can step to code in a debugger and it does support NuGet and NPM packages, which you don't get from Flow or Logic Apps. It's helpful to kind of see them all side by side, and here's just a select list of things we can compare against. With Flow, you um, target office and business users, whereas Logic Apps, Web Jobs, and Azure Functions are more developer focused or IT pro. If you need mission critical sort of functionality, then you don't want to run on Flow but Logic Apps, Web Jobs, and Azure Functions will be suitable. If you want auto-scaling, well, Flow and Logic Apps do auto-scale to an extent, and Web Jobs does with an app service plan, but Azure Functions really makes this easy and it can handle a lot of scaling. As for pricing, they're all priced differently. So with Flow, you pay $5 a month to get a 4,500 run sort of plan. If you pay more, you get more runs. 
Whereas with Logic Apps, you pay per action and the pricing does change to so check their website. And an action is basically uh, some sort of task that happens as part of a run. You could actually have three billable actions, for example, in one run. So look at the documentation for more. Web jobs, you pay on an app service plan. So it's kind of like a monthly price that you plan ahead up, to, up front with scaling that you would have to pay for on demand. Whereas Azure Functions, as we covered in video 1.4, you pay per use, or if you use an app service plan, you would follow sort of the web jobs pricing model where you pay upfront for the VM usage that you're gonna need. Trigger events, you have a lot more options to trigger into your apps with Flow and Logic Apps. There are so many different integrations from you know GitHub to Bitbucket to Dropbox those sorts of integrations where you don't get that sort of integration with web jobs or Azure Functions. However, Azure Functions does support more triggers than web jobs does. And then for supported languages, Flow and Logic Apps don't really, they just have their in-browser editor. But web jobs and Azure Functions do support many languages. Web jobs actually supports the most languages out of the bunch. Here's some general guidelines to consider when you're thinking about your architecture. If you just have a simple business optimization, try to use Flow and see if it works for you. If your process is too complex for Flow, but it's still a business optimization, look into Logic Apps. Now, if you need DevOps capabilities or some security compliance, you'll wanna look into Logic Apps first. Of course, Azure Functions can handle this too, along with uh, web jobs. If you require a complex step in your Logic App, but the rest of it's pretty straightforward and standard, you can create an Azure Function app that you can call from your Logic App. And of course, use Azure Functions for more of a sophisticated service, serverless architecture. When you wanna go in and have control over scaling and microservices and those sorts of things, Azure Functions is gonna make your life a lot better. So what did we learn? Well, we talked about Microsoft Flow and its strengths, Logic Apps and its strengths, and then of course, Web Jobs and its strengths. Then we compared all three with Azure Functions and kind of gave you some considerations to keep in mind when you plan out your architecture.